everybody and welcome to Simple Hobby Homesteading. I am Jenna and it's been forever since I've done a video. I kept saying, need to do a video, need to do a video, need to do a video, and then life got in the way. I did a lot of recording, but I never did the editing and one thing just led to another. I never got a video up in like forever. So today we are doing a fun video, an experimental video. I'm outside, it's August like the end, towards the end of August, 19th, I think. And I was in Walmart today. I've got cats that probably will rub up against the tripod. We have one of our great Pyrenees over there with two goats, and so we'll see what happens. But today when I was in Walmart, I saw this. This is a $4 orchid. This is an orchid that is on its last leg, and um, as far as blooming. Now, this orchid still has some beautiful foliage, the leaf, um, the leaf foliage is absolutely beautiful still, and it's still a very healthy, the roots are gorgeous, still a very healthy orchid. It's just at its end of bloom. And so, you can see there are some blooms still going. Um, and I got three of them, they were all $4, and this is the worst of the three as far as the blooms go, and I'm gonna use this as the experiment, um, because what I'm going to do is you see that hole in the tree right there there's tons of bark down in there which orchids love that um, free flowing water flowing through it but still the bark retains a little bit of moisture uh, um, orchids are rain rainforest um, plants and so they like lots of lots of rain but they like it to just kind of wash over them and then just go right over them they don't like to have what we call their feet wet they don't like the roots to really sit in water um, and so that's why you see a, usually um, a mulchy mix for orchids because it's free-flowing it doesn't hold the water against their roots and so I wanted one that didn't have a ton of blooms because I want the energy really to go towards the roots to go towards the foliage and not have the plant have to use its energy for a ton of blooms and so I chose this one I'm gonna cut down one of the stalks um, well here let's first let's get the plastic out and you're gonna come with me through this whole little thing it's gonna be super fun so um, I've got these are really nice when you get these plastic sleeves you just rip the side and I kind of do it without the pot falling and breaking so here we go there and so what you can see is you can see, let's see here, let me try to get it. Yeah, you can see this stem, I'm gonna cut right where the green is here, and this is just all brown here. And then this stem actually has some pretty, some pretty blooms on it. So here's a bunch of dead blooms. We're just gonna take those off. But look at the root system is still so beautiful and the leaves are absolutely gorgeous still. And so, this orchid is wonderful. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take it out of the pot. You can see the pot had no drain. Oh, <laughs> there was water in that pot. The water, the pot had no drainage and look at all that water that was sitting in there. Um, and that's probably why this orchid is dying. That's probably why this orchid is on clearance is because all this water was sitting, you can see I'm tipping it and a lot of it already poured out but all that water was sitting in there and that meant that the orchids feet were wet for who knows how long long enough to the orchid said I hate it I, I quit I give up so we rescued this orchid so what we're gonna do is and we're not gonna be able to leave the orchid out here very long we are getting towards the end of August it's gonna start getting cool uh, orchids don't like cool weather but what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this orchid up in that hole I'm gonna get it down in the mulch I'm probably gonna add some more mulch and maybe get some fertilizer, we'll see. I'll go back and forth. I will give it a good watering. Um, I might actually wait on the watering. There's a lot of water retention in here yet. And so uh, we're just gonna see. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it be, I'm gonna take the tag off. We're gonna let it be outside um, and just see how it does and see, I don't know, see for a couple weeks how it likes it outside. We're getting some real hot weather. This tree is, it stays pretty shady, it gets some some decent like um rays of sun here and there but it's towards facing kind of towards the inside of the forest and it gets some good good shade and that's actually i mean the where this tree is and the way it's pointed and where that hole is it's perfect for an orchid if this works at all in the least bit what i'm going to do next year um like in late may early june is I'm gonna put another or orchid out here. I'm gonna take this one in when I notice that temps are getting consistently in the low 50s, high 40s. I'll take this sucker in um, and overwinter it inside in our greenhouse, Arboretum, 
but I just I'm curious to see how it does so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go up and we're gonna get this in the hole up there um, maybe I'll talk while we're doing it let me get this kind of turned around here so you guys can see really well and let's do it I'm just, and I'm kind of gonna be watching I'm watching so I'm not stepping in poison ivy going up to the hole but I don't think there's any poison ivy here and if the cat rubs on the tripod I apologize so oh shoot Okay, well, we have a problem. Since the last time I looked in this hole, it is now, I'm gonna get the, uh, oh shoot, I'm gonna get the camera and show you. It used to be where there was like a ton of mulch right there, um, and now the tree, the hole goes all the way down, unfortunately. So we cannot put the orchid in there. It will, well, I guess I could. I don't think I can even fill it with mul enough mulch. I don't think it would take me forever to fill it with mulch, but let me show you what I'm talking about. It is, um, let me put the orchid there for a minute. Let me take you along. Oh, it was gonna be such a good idea too. So where it used to be, and I'm just watching because there might be critters down in there. The mulch used to come right up to here and there was just mulch there. But now you can see it goes all the way down and all the way up that way, but it goes I wish I had a light. Oh, no, I don't have my phone. But it goes all the way down and in there. And there's probably a critter down there. I don't know. Um, there's ants and everything. But so this isn't going to work, unfortunately. Um, shoot, shoot, shoot. Well, it was too late in the season, probably, too. I would have been able to leave it out here a couple weeks. But, oh, darn it. All right. Well, okay. Well, we tried. We tried a fun experiment. Okay. So then my other idea is we had some clearing done of the lane going up. We have this tree. This is the tree that came down from, where did it come down? Oh, I think it came down from that way, went across here. So that's just crazy. I mean, homestead life, right? So what I'm thinking is, I wonder if there is a hole in one of these tree trunks that I could nestle the orchid in. I wonder, let's take a look and see. Um, I wonder if critters would eat it. You know, that's my other wondering. The, uh, there's not a ton of sun here, so it would be okay. Um, hi, kitty cat. Hello, does. All right, so here, we have here this little, and that is not rotting. I mean, I can push on that, and it's not going anywhere. And I could, okay, dose. I am trying to do a video dose. Oh, and there is Uno. Hi, Uno. Here. We have all three brothers. Oh, and there's Trace. We have all three brothers here. Yeah. There's Uno. So let's see all three brothers. What a fun video. Oh, my cat's knocking me over off the, right now I'm on, I'm on this. The cat's pushing me. Uno, where's Dos? Dos and Trace, the tail of Trace. Okay. Oh my goodness. Hello, hello Dos. Okay, so we've got a couple options. So if we put it up high, I would think there would be a less chance of critters eating the leaves. I don't know if deer and stuff like orchid leaves, I don't know. We could stick it in here and then just put some mulch around it maybe. It, I would have to water, supplemental water a lot here because it's not sitting in a bed of mulch. I keep putting my hands in there and I don't know if there's a critter in there because it's not really sitting in a bed of mulch and I can't really build up any mulch in there, I don't think because it's coming, it's coming out there. I could maybe build, I could maybe stop this up right here maybe. Hold on, maybe we can f do this. Oh, that's not, oh, that might work. Okay, so I put a little piece of wood right there. And now, I wonder if I could put some mulch in there. Mulch pieces. Okay, so this is, oh shoot, that just gave way. I got a big chunk here that just gave way. Um, just trying to build this up just a little bit so I won't have to water as often. So we can still do our experiment. Because even though the roots don't like to sit in water, they still do like to be damp. I mean, they don't like to dry out. That's why not a ton of sunlight is good to dry out those roots and why that mulch is good to kind of keep 
enough water just kind of in and around. I think I'm going to try putting the orchid. I wish, try not to get a sliver. I wish I could cut off, and I do have a chain, so I could cut off this little nub right here. <sighs> hmm, but that would require me going and getting, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up some of this mulch, all this mulch here, and I'm going to fill in this hole. So let me go get my tripod. Okay, hello, welcome back. And that tripod is lovely, like uh, totally tilted and very um, wobbly. So if any of the cats rub up against it, it will definitely fall. So we're gonna just put our orchid here for a minute. You lay there for a minute, orchid. You just hang out there. And now we're gonna pick up mulch to try to fill in this hole just a bit. Yeah, that's some beautiful mulch. I'm just gonna try to fill this in a bit. Oh, I would love to get, oh, uh-oh, oh, 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 I'm pulling, I'm so strong. I'm actually pulling that open. Okay, but I don't want to pull it open a ton. <gasps> That's so perfect. But I need a piece of wood. I need to stop, uh-oh, well, that's a problem. I need to stop that up. Okay, we're gonna try a bigger piece of wood to go in there. And this doesn't have to stay for a long time. This is just gonna be until, like I said, remember until the end of fall, or the end of summer, I should say. Sorry, the end of summer, because um, then I'll have to bring it back in just because of temperatures. Southern Indiana, we get cold weather. So I'm putting bigger pieces of wood in here just so I don't have to put so much of the little mulch. Okay, that should hold the mulch. Yay! I was able to pull that out because I'm so strong. I'm so strong. Okay, mulch, mulch, mulch. Hello, mulchy mulch. Alrighty. Mulchy mulch. Mulchy mulch in the funky bunch. Mm, that's just plain dirt. Well, we want more mulch. Um, this is mulch. This is mulch. Ah, I got so much mud in my sandal. This is good mulch. Okay, let's get some good. It's always good to, you know, just dig around in random mulch. Snakes, what now, right? It's always fun. Who cares? We don't care, right? Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited I found this little spot. Okay, so I need to make a little hole here so that my orchid can sit down in there. And then I can maybe build the mulch around it. So, we're gonna take, we're gonna take these stakes off. We're done training it. It can go, these blooms can go wherever it wants to go. So I'm taking the little clips off We'll come back later and trim this dead part off. So I'm taking these off. You no longer have to be trained. Orchid, I'm proud of you. You've moved up in life to be able to be free growing however you want. So I'm gonna take this out of the little pot here, over here. That way we just put this mulch right in there. All right, so I want I do kind of want these roots will eventually, um, if we would leave it here all summer, these roots would grow up and out. But I'm going to kind of just stuff them in there a little bit now, just to see. Okay, there. Oh, this is so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, so we're going to get some more mulch and just build up around it a bit. Just kind of tuck tuck these roots in just a bit, and then I will come back and water this. Tuck this little, little guy in, or girl, I don't know. Doesn't matter here, it's a plant. So much beautiful mulch. And this mulch already has some moisture to it because it's in a nice shady spot. All right, I want some other good, hold on, there's some good mulch back here. I'm going for the good mulch. Look at this beautiful good mulch. This is what we like to call red mulch. I don't know, because it's red. <laughs> I don't know why we call it red mulch. Because it's red. That's why. Oh, you guys. Oh, Orchid, I think you're going to be so happy. Unless something comes and eats you. And I'm sorry if something comes and eats you. You guys, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. So, 
that's it. That's the experiment. We have, hold on, let me uh, take the camera off so you can see. My hands are filthy and this is why my camera gets so filthy. So as you can see, we have the orchid here, beautiful. We're gonna cut this dead part off right to, the, right to uh, there. These leaves still look so gorgeous. We just pack that mulch in. You can still see the roots there. Just pack that mulch in. Here you can't even see the roots, but once we, well you can right there, there's a little bit of root. Once we water it, some of that mulch will go down in there. So I'm just curious. I'm just curious to see how this goes. See what the orchid thinks of it. And just every time, cause look, I drive, that's our lane. I drive, you can't see the lane, but then you can see it back again, right there. And so, hello kitty cats, hello kitty cats. And so I drive down, so every time I drive down, look at this is gonna be my view. I'm going to look over here, and I'm gonna see this pretty orchid. It's gonna be so fun, all right. Okay, yeah, so here we have my orchid, my beautiful orchid behind me. And I am glad to be back doing videos with you guys. I look forward to it. We're gonna do, um, I tried to start recording a day in the life of Jenna um, in the farm, on the farm, what I do. And it's going to get switched to a morning in the life and then an afternoon in the life and an evening in the life because, oh my goodness, it, there was just so much. <laughs> I just, I don't realize, I don't know. And there's nothing I wanted to cut out because it's all so, hello kitty cat, look at kitty cat says hello. Uh, it's all so neat and it's all just so integral to my life and so I didn't want to cut any of it out. Um, and I just wanted you guys to see and I didn't want the video to be like crazy long. And so, I mean, there's, of course, like you're not sitting me, you're not um, sitting down watching me read my Bible for an hour, but, you know, just little things. Um, you see that I sit down and read the Bible and, and then take notes and stuff like that, but we just do it for a little bit, you know, just, just a short little snippet, but then it moves on to the next thing. But still, it was, the video was just, it was crazy long because, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm changing up how I'm doing it and we're going to kind of start over. And so I'm going to do, uh, start out with just a morning morning in the life with the kitty cats and the doggies and the goats and the chickens and the turkeys and ducks and everybody and have a good time so okay bye bye see you later uno and so yeah i'm glad to be back i'm glad you guys uh have stuck with me and to all the new folks welcome to simple hobby homesteading where we do things like this find a random tree stick an orchid in it and see what happens um just random fun interesting stuff that i don't know I get bored. I get bored easily. Uh, we had tacos for dinner tonight, and I was like, okay, there's still sunlight. I can, you know, jump out and do this real quick. And I was all ready to do it up in that hole up there, which would have been perfect, but uh, this ended up being just as good. And this might actually be better even. I don't know. We'll see. So I love you guys. And always remember, do what you can with what you have wherever you are, and just have a great day. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.